So our people to join. So are we live? Nikhil, can you message if you're live? I see there are one, there's just the two viewers. Five viewers. Yeah, I would like to do a quick audio check. If you are able to hear me well, just type yes. Great. We'll wait one more minute so that more people join. I know a couple of people are joining in some time. Hey Abhilash, nice to see you. Been a while. Thanks for your comments, guys. I think uh, we can get started now. Seven viewers. I think we're going to hit 10 soon. Stream is healthy. Yes, it looks like the connection is also strong. So I think we're going to have a power pack session. Let's go. Nikhil is so excited. Wonderful. So, hey, hi, uh, everyone. Uh, I'm Arun. Uh, and uh, uh, the, we from My Growth Club. And uh, My Growth Club is basically a community for uh, growth marketers. And uh, we have been doing this live sessions uh, for the last three weeks. So this is the third live session. And this is the first live session on the organic side of growth. So before uh, we get started, uh, I would like to uh, share my screen uh, so that uh, we have a very good 40 minute session. And at the end of the session, uh, we can have a 10 minute Q&A. So I'm sharing my screen. And it would be helpful if you mention if the stream uh, flag, the screen share is viewable in the chat window. So great. So uh, let's get started. I think uh, quite a few are excited about this particular topic. So uh, I would walk you through uh, this deep dive session for the next uh, 40 minutes, and then we'll have a 10 minute Q&A. But before we get into that, I highly recommend you visit mygrowth.club and subscribe. So as, as I told you before, we have been doing this for the last three weeks. And uh, la last time we got like 30 people and in before that we got like 20 people. So we are growing as a community. And uh, uh, we want to keep you informed about the uh, latest growth hacks and growth marketing. And also uh, whatever events we are launching, uh, the co complete event calendar, which we planned out for the next 
a few weeks. We want to share that in form of email. Uh, so do uh, subscribe uh, by going to mygrowth.club and also uh, hit the subscribe button on this YouTube channel. We really want to get to 100 fast. And also you, you will also be updated for uh, all future live sessions like these. So let's jump right ahead. So uh, before we get started, I want to make sure that even people who don't know what zero click search results mean uh, is aware. So firstly, when we are talking about zero clicks search results, it basically means when a person searches for something on Google, but does not really end up clicking on any other website because he got the answer on the Google search results page itself. So zero click search results could be something like this. For example, if I wanted to know Kiran Bedi's age, and I was really surprised that she's 71 years, and uh, and I I need not even go to as any website, not even Wikipedia or her own website, nor YouTube. I just got the answer on Google itself. So Google has answered for solutions rather than searching. So another example could be weather in Bangalore. Uh, I just looked up because I was working on a weather based app and then I, I looked up hey you know what everything comes here and if you see there is uh, on the bottom right there is weather.com so google is taking content from weather.com and putting it out on, it on uh, google.com so i if i'm worried about weather in bangladesh i want to go out shopping i don't really would love to uh, uh, visit any other website other than on google the third is IPL. I really wanted to know who won yesterday. And I searched for who won IPL yesterday. I did not even search for CSK versus RR IPL 2021. Who won IPL yesterday? And I got the answer. And so I did not even need to go to ESP and click in for IPLT20.com or ICC or any of the official websites as well. Calories in a banana. Banana has become my favorite fruit. And I was really surprised to see that there are 89 calories in banana and I need not even go to any website like WebMD or healthline.com, which are really big websites to find an answer for my query. So this is so, so it, it looks like this. So this is one example of how uh, zero click search results is. So if you are a website which talks about uh, the brilliant ways you could optimize your health by eating fruits, then ranking for this particular keyword will not give you enough traffic or any traffic maybe in the future because Google is giving the answer here. Similarly, for example, you ask a question to Alexa. Alexa gives you the answer. Most of the time, it does not really quote the list of websites every time. So websites and webmasters are losing out traffic to answers like this given by Google because Google has understanding of what exactly the user intent is about. So zero click search results could also look like this. So I search for elements of literary, literary analysis and I, I search for literary analysis terms. And if you see the, uh, the results on the left, uh, you will see people also ask and also results from uh, this is called the featured snippet and the one which you see on the right does not have any featured snippet or people also ask section. So if I am a website like rowanestate.edu, which is ranking number one for the ter term literary analysis terms, then I would get a lot of traffic, maybe like 40% of the clicks. For example, if 1000 people search for this keyword literary analysis terms, 40% would be uh, 400, 400 people uh, as traffic I would get to my website. But literary analysis uh, terms, if I'm ranking below this people also ask a section or the feature snippet section, I would hardly get somewhere around five to 10% in click through rates, which means I'm losing like a good 300% of uh, traffic because Google has implemented all of these structured data and other elements which we, we have been talking about. So this pissed off a lot of uh, uh, webmasters and SEO uh, people uh, in the community saying, uh, so this happened in 2014. So this has been going on since 2014 and maybe 2013, 12 as well, wherein Google has been eating up 
a lot of traffic of, from of the websites and uh, so so this happened this funny thing happened wherein the uh, the chief engineer of spam at google mad cuts search uh, asked on twitter did you see any scraper site so the reply was hey i have seen a scraper site look at google itself so this has been going on since 2014 and google did get under a lot of uh, conflict um, so is google stealing data is it taking credit for content which it does not deserve credit for so it got into trouble and then enter and fishkin it's like in 2018, Rand Fishkin was like really uh, pissed off and like kind of curious about where uh, the trend is going. And he has been publishing data consistently to 2018 to, to 2021. And this is a study he published in 2018. And uh, I'm going to show you the progression of how things have been going towards worse. So. If you see mobile no-click searches, the number, uh, uh, as in number of people who search for a keyword on a mobile device and not really clicked on any website URL, they got an answer. Thank you. Next query, or went to YouTube, or opened a WhatsApp. So as you can see, uh, from January 16th to September 18th, the the percentage of people clicking, not clicking on a website URL, has moved from 55.6 percent to 61.5 this is just till September 18th. And then if you see June 2019 data, about 50% in overall mobile and desktop combined and much higher on mobile. People haven't even clicked on the uh, website. Number three, Google in 2020. It's like Rand Fishkin announced Google is our competitor. You, you might think your uh, the other website is a competitor. Rand Fishkin declares is Google is a competitor, and which is true in, in, a, in a certain context. So in 2020, uh, th so this, uh, this was launched on March 22, 2021, and the, the talk has been going on since the last one month. Uh, hey, you know what? Uh, Two thirds of the uh, Google searches ended without a click. So it was uh, moved from 45, almost 50, to more than 50, now it's two thirds. And this is a, a data combined from a similar web. And now Google has a response for that. And Google has its own PR machine, which it tries to say things uh, to communicate to webmasters. Sometimes it defends what it's saying. So it came down with this claim that, hey, you know what? This is not really true. Uh, but you know what? It's uh, people. They have been. There are cases wherein we optimize for the search intent, but we have been sending more and more traffic to individual websites. So it kind of denied what is really happening. So even if you keep the whole scenario uh, to a uh, uh, at a distance and look at what really is happening in our search console reports, if you look at search console reports, this is for uh, from what I've seen in uh, for a uh, for a. Uh, industrial manufacturing company, and the, the this is something weird. I observed. I've been observing this for the last few years. Now I really felt, hey, you know what? For this particular keyword slash keyword based pages, I'm getting 1.1 million uh, impressions, which is like only 30k clicks. Okay, which I can live with that. But you know what? My average position increased for this particular bunch of keywords. But if my average position improves, the CTR has to improve. I'm like, if I'm ranking three versus ranking two, the number two should get more clicks. That's this basic logic. That logic is not being followed in uh, the zero clicks uh, results scenario, which we are facing right now. So, so the ranking is improving. We are doing great SEO, we're adding content links, making sure the technical SEO is good. The ranking is improving, but the CTR is going down. The CTR is going down, the clicks usually go down unless the, there is a bump in impressions. So we are losing out on traffic and there are N number of cases you can find out on your own search console reports. And this is something which we, this is, I'm pointing to the obvious in the uh, search uh, engine um, SEO space. So we are losing out to our competition and the competition is no other than Google. 
and uh, we have been optimizing for Google and uh, we have been talking about Google all these years and now Google is our competitor. So what we can do, uh, obviously we're not gonna give up our traffic. We, we really want to be the best for our clients, for the companies we work with, for the business we want to build. So the first step is don't compete with Google. And there's a reason uh, I say this because uh, Google is a, uh, uh, kind of saying, hey, you know what? Uh, this particular website is Apple, Amazon, uh, Engadget, TechCrunch. Okay, this is a trustworthy website. I trust this website and this is a brand and I will rank this over any newcomer. So brand signals are playing huge in Google SEO right now. And it's better to be smarter rather than just going against, you know what? I will outrank every other website brute force approach in SEO hardly works. A rather a better approach would be to understand what kind of terms, okay? Uh, for instance, let me show you an example, uh, marketing CRM software. Okay. So what kind of tools, uh, if I search for marketing CRM software, currently I'm logged in. So if I can search for marketing CRM software, I see that, okay, there is a, a featured snippet coming up and there is a people also ask coming up. There are a bunch of three ads, which is annoying and related search. This is still fine, uh, but you know what? This is taking up a lot of real estate here. Uh, I would like to rank for this keyword, but you see MailChimp is ranking two results. Uh, I might not go if I'm a new startup. I don't really want to go all out targeting for this keyword. But in a case wherein I search for something like uh, CRM software service, Again, it's, it's coming up, Zoho is coming up. This is much more competitive. And then you, if you search for something uh, which is much more long tail, providers, the ads is coming up. So there is always a problem with doing this kind of results. And the problem with this approach is Google is really uh, making sure uh, it is cutting uh, cutting all loose ends. So in this case, I would rather try to rank for this particular keyword than try to rank for something like this because the reason being there are two ads here and also uh, after the people also ask, there are very few results which are not really going towards something which is not uh, SEO friendly. So coming back to, um, so it all comes down to a case wherein you in, pick an individual keyword, search for that keyword, and then uh, understand, okay, uh, is there a real estate which, which I can capture in that above the fold so that I can get all the traffic. So you can use tools like Ahrefs, SEMrush for this purpose, and they can help you out with this. So you see the second option is make Google your ally. So here we'll talk about share of voice optimization. So when I searched for learn data science in Bangalore, this, this particular pack came up. Now it's very important to get attention by ranking number one. If the first thing Google shows is this particular pack. Similarly, if I search for video editors in Google, I will see that there is Upwork, there is there is True Lancer, there is Work and Hire, Just Dial. These companies have been there for three years and four years. To beat them would be difficult. So what I would do is maybe I will create a local listing in this case, which you see on the screen right now, Learn Data Science in Bangalore, and the local training center which I have, I will list that in Google Maps and make sure it ranks in the top three so that I get that attention and people kind of uh, check out my website or maybe call me up. So this is local SEO optimization. And the second case is when I'm trying to rank for something like video editors in Bangalore, 
I will make sure that, hey, I cannot rank for this extremely competitive keyword. Maybe I will go to Upwork and create a particular listing and list myself as a video editor on this particular page. Maybe I will go to Tool Answer and list myself as a video editor. Maybe I'll go to Jazz Style and list myself as a video editor. Work and Hire and list myself. And Quora and maybe list myself. Or if a YouTube URL is ranking, then maybe list myself as a video editor so that even if a user goes to any of these links, I am visible instead of using the brute force way of ranking for that uh, particular keyword. So the third one is learn data size in Bangalore, Quora is ranking. And so what I'll do is I'll make a list of all these particular questions and go and comment, add value to the community. And at the same time, tell hey, you know what, this is a free resource which we have uh, created and also we provide courses for this particular uh, topic. And then comes the Q&A on Google. So this is something which is taking up a lot of real estate these days, especially for information based queries. If you search for uh, loan data sets in Bangalore, Q&A in Google comes up and there are people having conversation and giving answers. In few cases, obviously, you don't want to spam. But uh, again, just the way you do in Quora, you can participate, add value. And then maybe you could mention uh, without or maybe uh, without putting down a link or sometimes maybe that, hey, you know what, uh, we do provide and this is a, these are a few free resources you would love to check out. And the third is how to build biceps. I searched for this just for this uh, 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 live event. I searched for how to build biceps and uh, all the big YouTubers, Ethelian X and Jeff Park uh, showed up. And if a query has, hey, video results are showing up. If I search for, even if you search for something like how to build tricep or should I really need to build a bicep and all of that, YouTube videos comes because Google knows that, okay, if this particular query uh, search user has a video consumption intent, Google knows it, which means uh, you will have to create video content for that particular query, optimize uh, that particular video for that query by using tags, by using titles, by using description and present yourself uh, and rank for these keywords. And also there is a hint in this that, oh, you know what, uh, when I searched for something like this, uh, YouTube videos came up in Google, which means that there might be many people searching for this already directly on YouTube because the intent is video consumption intent. And the same happens uh, in, in the case of uh, yoga poses. If you're searching for how to do yoga or yoga poses, yoga for sleep, yoga for health, yoga for success, typically videos come up on the first page. It, it's an indication that, hey, you know what, Google might not be the uh, biggest winner here. Maybe I should go to YouTube and create like five to 10 videos, which is high quality. So here in any of these cases, we are not trying to rank our website. We are trying to present ourselves as a business in our local listing, in, in each of these websites, in Quora, in forums, and also on YouTube so that we get those eyeballs. And also getting eyeballs is one. Number two, uh, ranking plus clicks. So uh, when I searched for marketing CRM software, uh, I went to three clicks, sorry, uh, three listings. And I think Trust Radius was the fourth. And I, what I really liked about this is this Q&A uh, schema which they're using on their website. So th this kind of uh, takes up a lot of real estate, much more than the other. It, this has uh, like, 32, in fact, like 50% more real estate than the all the uh, 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 websites which is ranking above. So I would love to do something like this. Uh, or if you are an e-commerce website, uh, make sure you are using the rich snippet. So all of these definitely add. So all the dips which you see in CTR to a certain extent can be recovered by using the rich snippet data or creating Q&A schema and uh, making sure you're presentable and take up real estate and give more information for the user on the search results page and motivate them to click on that particular website. And so if, if I see in, in, so in all of these aspects, you see right from the first one, don't compete with Google, wherein your smarter approach, we're trying, not trying to rank for uh, 
keywords wherein uh, there are a lot of featured snippets and stuff like like the ones like uh, yeah if, I, if somebody's uh, I wouldn't want to rank for a keyword like elements of literary analysis would definitely not um, if if the, if the pack is like this ranking number four or five would mean like one percent of the clicks but I would definitely try to rank for a keyword uh, like the one you see on right literally analysis terms I would definitely so this this is basically understanding Google and how understanding Google helps your SEO traffic and and even in the share of voice which I shared where, where in you become a partner of Google and try to rank in all of these places uh, be present as a business in this case also you are using Google as an ally and in each of these cases where you okay you know what I, I, I want to be on core on each of these websites and make sure that I am on on video and I'm on forums I do have good reach and person stuff but the third one is my favorite wherein you make Google irrelevant uh, I think uh, digital channels is only gonna be more and more disintegrated and distributed and the consumer eyeballs is more and more distributed and uh, more and more uh, short attention span I would say so making Google as a um, be all go to uh, channel to build your business can backfire a uh, few years down the line yes Google is an amazing channel and it's not really going out anywhere uh, as long as people are searching uh, if not Google some other search engine will always be there and always search engines would love to crawl your website what amazing content and good off off page SEO so the Google and the search as a SEO as a channel will always exist but uh, making SEO as a channel wherein you uh, leave your business at the dictates of Google can backfire in the in the long run and uh, where you, your click through rates reduce it becomes more and more difficult to rank even if you're ranking the click through rates um, the dip in the click through rates can take away eat away your traffic and also the the keyword pool will get more and more finer and Google is understanding the search intent much much better so things are going a bit more difficult and also there was a survey which was taken by Alida Soilis uh, where she talks uh, where, where she interviewed she took a poll on Twitter 1400 uh, SEO guys were asked is SEO becoming becoming more and more difficult and 42.53 percent of people of SEO uh, uh, professionals agreed that SEO is has become uh, more difficult than uh, what it was five years ago and uh, about like 30 percent have agreed that it's as difficult as five years ago so there's no question that there is a, a challenge with uh, Google and search as a play so where we really want to move is understand that the search behavior does not just happen on Google search behavior happens on YouTube which is the second largest search engine you search behavior happens on Amazon uh, which uh, is one of the largest uh, search engine for consumer intent queries so if you're an ed tech startup and you're just trying to sell uh, videos uh, or uh, then a better approach would be uh, one of the approach would be maybe create books on Amazon and get some eyeballs and the search also happens uh, on YouTube music on Spotify on um, any of these upcoming podcast channels or on Apple music so the search as a function if you can think just beyond Google and where all can I present myself capture the intent and get the a highly qualified audience intent is how you should be looking at this problem rather than making Google as a be all end all approach so we have come to a hand of what I really wanted to share and uh, I would definitely would love to uh, uh, take questions right now and uh, 
just uh, type the question out in the chat window and I will take these questions one by one. Okay. Yes. Is this because SEO is gamed? Uh, SEO, uh, okay, to answer that question, uh, uh, SEO could have been gamed. Uh, I mean, like I have gamed SEO when I was like uh, working in 2010 to, to uh, quite a few years in the initial days of my career. And people in 2010, uh, 2001, 2006, they have gamed SEO. But more and more, the search engines become smarter. The chances of you gaming as a SEO professional has reduced drastically uh, because Google understands search engine and even the idea to game SEO uh, happened in the span of 15, 20 minutes. And uh, it's easy to, okay, you know what? I'll put a title, put an extra title and an extra keyword maybe will rank. Those techniques used to work before. Uh, it no longer works right now. And the 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 and also Google has uh, approach wherein uh, has its own uh, way of combating spam. If you try to game, uh, Google understands that oh, you know what, this guy is trying to game the engine, and uh, it has a uh, uh, lot of updates released. Uh, I think they you know, they launched like five hundred to thousand updates in a single year, and those updates. Uh, are, are made sure to, you know what, these are the kind of hacks which these SEO guys are using. So let's uh, uh, fix that in the particular algorithm. And uh, the algorithm itself is machine learning. So it, uh, it, it understands, you know what, these kind of websites use these kind of techniques, which means that, okay, uh, these kind of techniques are usually black hat or gray hat uh, in their uh, understanding. Yeah, yes, so Nikhil is saying the zero click searches will keep increasing, especially with voice based searches devices. Absolutely, Nikhil. Um, uh, more uh, voice based uh, assistants we have, more the chances of uh, we, uh, uh, we seeing um, um, less and less traffic. So Google will give the answer, or Alexa will give the answer, but the traffic is missing out. To the end, uh, to the to the webmaster. In context of why second and third result don't logically follow expected. Okay. Uh, uh, no, I, I don't think so, uh, uh, Akshit. In context of why second and third result don't logically follow expected click count. Uh, 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 from what I understand, it's uh, I don't think so. Google is really doing it for that purpose, but people have definitely seen it because it is not just showing in the CTR; it is already also showing up in the clicks as well. The clicks itself is different. Does it uh, make sense to try to rank for? Hey, Evelyn. Hi, Evelyn. Nice to see you. It does is uh, is make sense to try to rank for keywords? that have search volume of a 100 to 100, given that the CTR will be 1%. What's the ideal range of search volume to look for? Is there a math here? See, yeah. See, ultimately, whatever we are doing in terms of traffic is to acquire a uh, business, OK? Now, if your product itself is um, average revenue per user of the product is somewhere around uh, 1,000, and your, the lifetime value of the product is six months. Okay, 1,000 is not really a big amount unless you are getting 10,000 people who buy that 1,000 rupees ka product, okay? So if you want 10,000 people uh, subscribe to your product, you need to have at least like 1 million people. And which means you will have to rank for highly high volume keywords. But if your product itself is, uh, so you would be ideally looking, looking for keywords which has a volume of uh, 10,000 to 20,000 and long tail versions of those keywords so that you can capture the entire pool and uh, uh, get that 1 million people and get that 10,000 uh, pe people subscribe to your product and make your revenue goals. 
But now if you're selling a SA enterprise SaaS software, which the billing itself is $50,000 a year, I don't, uh, even if I get like five leads and a hundred people on the website, I'm, I'm really happy with that. And even if I, of the five leads, I convert one, I'm making $50,000, which is a good amount for a startup. So it's, it all uh, comes down to your ticket item. It's, so you figure out your business and understand, hey, you know what, how much worth is that 100 visitors on my website to the business? Yeah. So it's it's a business approach, yeah. Yeah, uh, I think we can take um, three more questions before we close. Zero. Yes, I, I really want to talk about uh, this more. Zero click search will keep increasing, especially with voice based searches. Um, especially when we are talking about uh, uh, voice assistants are increasingly smarter with understanding the words. Now, if I the if I use an app like Live Transcribe, go to Google Play and search for Live Transcribe. As I speak uh, with 90 to 95% accuracy, Google is able to uh, convert my words into, convert my spoken word into textual word uh, in real time, which means that when, when the accuracy goes 90 to 95 to 99%, more and more people will trust voice assistant and th that is one number two there are more and more apps like crisp.ai which can clear out all my background noise and pick what exactly is my authentic voice and based on that authentic voice it understands okay you know what for all future videos this is the voice which you're going to lock in on so the trust uh, aspect and the removing, uh, sorry, uh, the aspect of uh, accuracy of converting spoken word into textual language and also removing out the background noise and understanding the speaker's voice and more and more technology around voice based search uh, would make people uh, more and more understand that, hey, you know what, uh, if nine out of 10 times I'm doing a voice based search, Google is understanding and cracking it and making sure it is coming up with the exact results. And Alexa has a behavior. So all cultural shifts uh, take time. And uh, once a cultural shift happens towards voice based and that there's more and more uh, happening in millennials and uh, uh, in the younger generation, uh, more and more is going to go voice based and more and more single word answers is going to show up. And uh, uh, unless a person is actually in a research based mode wherein he wants to go through he or she wants to go through five or 10 websites before making a decision, the business decision or a heavy purchase, uh, the amount of people uh, uh, visiting uh, full fledged websites will go down. It might not really go uh, to zero, but uh, it, it might um, go down and then there will be a, a plateauing there. So that's why it's more important to uh, understand uh, what we could do, how we could use existing Google uh, information, be it uh, hijacking uh, the ranking um, uh, of, I mean, like presenting yourself in the top websites, which is already ranking, or making a diversifying uh, search uh, traffic to Spotify, YouTube, uh, Amazon, uh, or any other search engine which comes up or uh, being smart with the kind of keywords which you choose. Yeah. Yes. So uh, DuckDuckGoGo, Yahoo and Bing, the best part about um, these are they, uh, um, they are not as ad heavy as Google and also they're not as ad heavy uh, as uh, featured snippet or uh, zero clicks search results um, as uh, Google. So that is the good news. But the bad news is number of people searching these search engines are extremely low. 
uh, unless you are living in China and uh, and the search engine is Baidu or um, some unique case wherein uh, about 20% of the people uh, who who are your prospects for your business use Bing. I don't really think um, uh, it's going to really uh, impact impact in a huge way. But it's definitely there, but it's not as intense as Google. Text versus video result impact on SEO. Um, yes. So um, from what I understand and what I've um, read uh, and uh, experienced in a couple of uh, uh, extremely video intent based startup uh, is uh, even if you search for text or video sometimes uh, if Google uh, realizes that uh, there is a video intent uh, it, it gives a, a pack of YouTube URLs okay and then it lists at least two or three websites in the regular listing but if I open and see those websites, also they have a video embedded on that page. So uh, that, that's one behavior I have observed. And uh, the rankings, I, I don't really think it's going to be different uh, just because a text video, uh, a text result and a video result is showing up. Uh, it would understand uh, which the, the core idea of Google is always which is gonna help the user stick uh, to the piece of content which I'm landing them on. That's the core intent. And if it's a video or a website, Google does not care. Yeah, I think uh, there is uh, one or two questions we can take uh, before we close this live session, if any. And uh, yes, uh, before uh, we, we close the session, I highly um, recommend uh, you go to uh, mygrowth.club uh, and uh, um, subscribe so that you, uh, um, in coming weeks, both Nikhil uh, Parchure, who is more adept in um, uh, Google Antics and paid marketing and growth marketing, will uh, is, uh, we are doing events. Uh, he, he'll be able to uh, be both together. I've been doing events in um, on YouTube live and maybe LinkedIn live in the future. So subscribe to this uh, list so that you are aware and also subscribe to this YouTube channel. We do want to go to 100 uh, YouTube subscribers soon. And uh, yes, so, so let me close uh, the session and it was wonderful having you. Um, and uh, uh, after this video is live, I mean, like on YouTube, um, see if you can drop off a comment and do share this video uh, with your friends if they if you feel it would be relevant uh, for them. Uh, thanks a lot, everyone. Uh, it, was, it was my first live event ever, and it was quite an experience, and uh, it made really. Th thanks a lot for coming. Yeah.